Welcome everyone. I'm John McGuire, founder and director of the Kinesiology Institute, and I'm thrilled that you've joined us today. What I'm gonna be sharing is structural kinesiology skills. Now, I know some of you have already done our program, and there's others that are maybe looking at it. Maybe you've done the fundamentals, but we have some great skills I'm going to share with you today. So have a pen and paper and take a lot of notes. What I first want you to know a little bit about me, and then I'm going to demonstrate on an actual person in a session that demonstrates these skills, as well as we're going to talk a little bit about our upcoming structural kinesiology certification program that you can get certified and be eligible to get session review, like uh, referrals from us at the Institute, which we have people calling every day wanting a practitioner, and we then give them out to our certified practitioners. So I want you to be uh, open to the, the idea of really becoming the best that you can be in this field and see if it's a fit for you studying with us. A little bit of my background. When I started in 1979 as a massage therapist, certified licensed massage therapist in the state of Ohio, I was looking for every technique I could to help my patients. And what I noticed was often what would happen is with the toolbox that I was collecting, I go to a seminar pretty much every other weekend, I had a lot of tools, but I didn't know what to do when. And what happened then was sometimes I'd say, well, let me try this technique. And maybe the person wouldn't get any results or in rare cases, but sometimes they felt worse. Have you ever had that happen where you go, oh my God, that didn't work. So I didn't know what to do when. I also had a degree in holistic health, which I studied nutrition, psychology, studied world religions, as well as biochemistry and nutrition. So I had all these skills. But again, my problem was I didn't know what to do when. So then I got the amazing opportunity to study with George Goodhart, the founder of Applied Kinesiology, and I took his year-long certification program. So then what happened was after each course, I came back from a weekend with Dr. Goodhart, and I was able to discern exactly what that person needed, which I'll be demonstrating you right now. So AK allows you to find the source of a person's health issues rather than treating the symptoms. So someone would come in with back pain. I said, well, let me massage the back muscles. And, oh, that didn't help. Well, let's try some heat on it. Oh, that made it worse. Uh, let's try cold. I was just throwing my tools at him. Well, Dr. Goodhart told me, John, you're using the rub and hope method. <laughs> And so I said, yeah, no, you're right. I've got to find what's the body's intelligence, access that, and that will tell you what you need to do. So it changed the game. And after I took my certification with Goodhart, my practice tripled. I started getting people coming in from other states and getting amazing results with me. I became known as the guy that could fix people when no one else could. And there's times where I needed to refer out, but again, the body would tell me where it was beyond my scope of practice. So this gives you skills to become more confident, more certain, and certainly more successful in your practice. So what is applied kinesiology? Well, what it does is it uses manual muscle testing, which I'll be demonstrating, to find the source of a person's problem, both structurally and energetically. In fact, it's built on what Goodhart called the triad of health. The foundation of that is structure. Then there is a side of nutrition and a side of mental emotional, all within the encompassing energy. Because everything is energy. Everything is a vibrational frequency. And the energy systems that run the body are primarily governed by the acupuncture meridians from Chinese medicine. And Goodhart discovered that every muscle in your body is associated with an acupuncture meridian. That's a channel, if you will, where bioelectrical energy flows, kind of a wireless system. Then also an organ associates with that. So if you have an organ that's under stress, an actual muscle or group of muscles will test weak and then you also 
can have the organ and meridian blocked so it's not getting its full power. What we do is find where the blockage is, switch it on, and when the blockage is removed and energy flow is restored, symptoms go away naturally. So write that down. The cause of all disorders is basically energy blockage and symptoms go away naturally when you restore energy flow. Now that blockage can be back to the triangle of health. It can be from structural issues such as I found the chair. I muscle tested the chair I was using in my office for a long time and I muscle test sitting on it and go, oh my God, I'm weak. We show that in our fundamentals course, how you can do environmental testing. I also tested a mattress I, I was using. In fact, I had severe back pain. And then I realized, oh, this is the mattress. So we got rid of the mattress, got a better mattress. The back pain went away. So it's simple things like that. Also not getting enough sleep. I have to emphasize that. Getting enough sleep is so key for your structural balance. Now, Goodhart also discovered within the realm of structure that a thing, you can write this one down, opposing muscle weakness. Now, what opposing muscle weakness is, is that when one muscle is weak due to energy blockage, not because you didn't exercise it enough in the gym, but due to energy blockage, it can make a muscle switch off and be inhibited. So that inhibited muscle, when it gets weak, there's an opposing muscle that's on the other side. And when that weak muscle doesn't do its job, the other muscle gets tight. Example of this, the upper trapezius. If you have a tight upper trapezius, sometimes what happens is the lats that are down here get weak that hold the shoulder down. So then the upper traps get tight. And I noticed with many clients, when I would balance the lats, their tight upper traps would be fine. So that's a key distinction. See, most therapies say, Oh, we look where the tight muscles is. For you that are massage therapists, oh yeah, someone comes in, they're tight. You work out that tightness. You work out their tightness. Well, sometimes that's needed. It can be good. But if you don't address the opposing muscle weakness, what happens then is the tightness comes back or it just doesn't go away in the first place. So that was revolutionary. So that's the structure. So we go back now to the side of the triangle called um, nutrition. And I found this once when I had a carpal tunnel syndrome and uh, I just couldn't get it. I was doing all the structural work. And then I added the nutrition, which is often B6 and calcium. In fact, I had a client come in who had, uh, she was a potter and she said, oh, my wrists are killing me so much. I can't do my work. I, I think I'm going to have to get rid of my career. Well, we tested her and found the muscles that we show in the structural course of how to balance carpal tunnel. Uh, I worked on that. And then he found the right nutrition for her that I got her on. And a week later, she says, wow, it's fantastic. And I showed her how to self-correct. She says, you've, you've saved my life. You've saved my career. So that's where you find the nutrition can help. And in my case as well, after weeks of not having uh, that restored to, to, to normal function, when I added the nutritional supplementation that my body tested for, and I'll demonstrate that on Lee, who's here in the studio, it went away and it didn't come back. Also calcium supplements, often with people with tight upper traps, the deficiency of cal calcium can be part of that as well as other muscle cramps. My mother had debilitating Charlie horses that would keep her up at night. I muscle tested her and found out, oh, mom, you need to take this calcium magnesium supplement. And as long as she took that for the rest of her life, she never had cramps in the, in the legs. So nutrition is a key part. Now, one of the most important parts of the triangle is the psychological. The psychological, the thoughts you think are probably the most important. And many people in body work, we don't focus on that, but you can test and find out if a person needs emotional stress release, which we use in our courses. And so for you that have done our fundamentals course, you're probably aware of that simple technique that can have profound results. In fact, I've had people with say shoulder issues, back issues, other pain throughout the body, as well as organs that are not functioning properly. And we find it's emotional, which I'll demonstrate here in a bit, how you can determine if it's an emotional issue. So in that case, 
Goodhart actually called an emotional low back condition that many of his patients who were primarily executives from Gross Point, Michigan in the motor industry. And he found that they were under a lot of pressure and emotional stress and they would get low back pain. So that emotional low back is a factor uh, that can be corrected. So just understand that the three, I mentioned the triad of health, you wanna look at all aspects with every person in every condition, along with the energy fields, the energetic imbalances. I had one woman who had a hip problem, Dorothy. Dorothy Keister was her name. She says, John, my hip's killing me and the doctors think I need to maybe a hip replacement. And I said, well, Dorothy, let's check. And I go through what we call the finger modes, which I'll demonstrate here in a bit. And I found out it was energy. There was an energy factor that needed to be addressed. Now with the energy, we're working in the field, in the energy field. In fact, it was Einstein, Albert Einstein, write, write this quote down. He said, the field, the energy field of the body is the sole governing agent of matter. And that's where he said, well, it's all energy. It says matter is slowed down energy, but the physical body is governed by energy. So I worked on her energy field, working out in the field of energy. In fact, you can feel it. Rub your hands together right now and go like this. And you can feel that field. See how it's, you can just go, whoop, it's right there. Well, I worked in her field, cleared the energy field. And she goes, oh my God, John, it's like you took a vacuum cleaner and you pulled the pain out. She never had any more pain. It's amazing. So in our holistic system, we have, again, the structural, which I'll be demonstrating today, the nutritional and biochemical aspects of the body, which are key, the mental and emotional, and the electrical. So let's do some demonstration here so you get to see it in action. So we got Lee Reese in the house. Lee, thanks for coming over. And Lee is a phenomenal athlete. I've seen his videos. Lee, you're really tremendous. It's like he'd probably be in Cirque du Soleil, couldn't you? Maybe yeah. Day. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So um, tell me what's happening. I think you said you had some fatigue, low energy, and fatigue. Sometimes I wake in the like 4 a.m. and I can't go back to sleep. Okay. And then I'm fatigued in the evening and I can't go back to sleep either. Yeah. Um, sensitivity to light. Okay. A little bit. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's let's have you lie on your back, and I'll demonstrate so you can see what I'm doing here. Now. What I like to start with is finding um, if the person is, say, testable. So one way we do that is I'm going to push on the arm. Any problems with your shoulder that I shouldn't test it here? No. You meet my pressure as I begin pushing gradually and increasing. Hold as I push. That's strong. Now, the green dot on this magnet here means it's the North Pole. I put that right on the muscle and check again, and that's good. So that's an accurate indicator muscle. Now, an indicator muscle is where I'm going to touch things on the body and see what goes out. Now, there's points for you that have done our fundamentals, AK fundamentals course. You'll know these head points. These were taught to me by a master kinesiologist, one of the most brilliant men that's probably influenced the world almost more than anybody but Dr. Goodhart is Sheldon Deal. And he showed me these points on the head. If I touch here and I press again, he's strong. That is the wood element. So the wood element in, in uh, Chinese medicine relates to liver and gallbladder meridians and organs. Now I'm going to touch over here on the head. And here what I have is I push, it goes weak. Now that is the fire element, which is four meridians. The four are, now touch and then test. Heart, it didn't change. S uh, small intestine, didn't change. Circulation sex didn't change. Triple warmer, it changed. Now that means the triple warmer meridian, which runs on the hand from your ring finger to the ring and then a ring around the uh, ear to the eyebrow. That meridian is also related to the thyroid and the adrenals, as well as the thymus. So there's an organ relationship and there's muscles. So we'll be testing those and see how those go. Now there's also uh, back here, a point on the back of the head. If you wanna find it on yourself, it's just a little behind the top of your ear and down. It's a little flat spot there. That would be the earth element. So I'm touching here, he's strong. That means those meridians don't have under energy. These are under energy points. That would be 
the metal element back here on the left side. And then over here on the temple up here is the water element. And then there's central, that's conception vessel. It's a reservoir meridian. Some of you may not be familiar with these things, but if you are, uh, you'll know what I'm talking about. And you can learn these in our courses. So now we know we've got that out. So I'm gathering information now. So I'm going to see what happens if we put him in, it's a mode called the emergency mode. We can teach this in the structural class. For you that have done it, you'll know. So before we do that, I, I get to find a muscle here that I can use as an indicator. This is the fascia lata. I'm pushing down and in towards the other ankle, ready and hold. Great, if I wanna see, is it accurate? I can put the green dot on it and hold again, and it goes weak. Isn't that amazing how it just totally mm -hmm. goes weak, you know? Now, what that is, is the North Pole spins it counterclockwise, and it has an effect on the muscle that says, relax. So that's uh, actually can be sometimes used for, like I had a hip pain the other day, and I put that magnet against the hip, and within a few seconds, the pain was gone. So there's other pain relief techniques that we, we also talk about with magnets. But now we've got an accurate indicator muscle. So what I'm going to have him do is going to have him put his arm straight out like a plus sign and see what happens. Hold as I push and bingo. What that means is there's something out in the structural system that needs to be addressed, meaning, well, let's check. So I'll ask. Now, when I state this, if it's a yes, the body says, oh, I want that, he'll go strong. So I'll say now, by the way, you can think of it, but I'm going to say it out loud. So the thought itself is a frequency of vibration and you're hooked in like ethernet to the person, but I'm going to say them out loud. So muscle balancing, he goes strong. Now, other structural things we learn in the course is TMJ didn't go uh, strong. So I don't need to work on the TMJ. Cranials, no. Okay, let's check uh, contralateral joints. Oh, there's some contralateral joints. Uh, category, pelvic categories. Oh, and pelvic categories. Well, let's work with those for now. Let's see what we got. So we now know we need to do some muscle balancing, okay? Now, just to note, there's two other emergency modes. I'll just throw them in there so you see them. This one would be biochemical. When he goes here, if it goes weak, it means uh, he's, his body really needs nutrition. And it's saying that's not a major thing. Now, these... The emergency mode is systemically saying what the body needs. Now, there could be individual things that do need nutrition, but we'll know that his body overall, this is a mental and emotional. If he needs balancing really desperately, he would go weak, but he doesn't there. So we now know structure is what he needs to do. So I'm, I'm teaching you how to think, how to go through a system that says, what do we really need to do with this person? Because when somebody comes in with a back pain and then you find out, oh, it's emotional low back. Another person you'll find, oh, it's a nutritional factor. Another it's uh, muscle balancing or pelvic categories. And often it's combinations. But now we know we're getting an idea what to do with him here pretty quickly too. In fact, Dr. Deal, I go watch him do uh, patients in his uh, office in Tucson and he basically works no more than 20 minutes. And people say, gosh, I've never gotten so much done in the session. In fact, we're going to probably do this whole thing. I'm describing a lot, but it could have been done probably within 15 to 20 minutes. So let's check now. We know we need the muscles. Let's check the muscles that are related to the adrenals and the thyroid. In fact, let's do this. Because it's triple warmer, I'm going to check in here and see how is the thyroid. I'm just going to point at the organ thinking thyroid, and that's strong. Now I'm going to point here at the uh, thymus. That's strong. Now the adrenals are in the back. They have reflexes, neural lymphatic reflexes. These are neural nerve switches on the body that stimulate lymph flow to the organ as well as the muscles. So I'm going to check here. He goes weak. Now I'm going to see, is it on the left? That's strong, right, right's weak. Okay, so now we know that the right side's probably gonna be weak. I can just test them both, but let's see what happens. Now there's the muscle here called the gracilis. It's going from the pubic bone down to the inside of the knee. And I'm gonna pull this out. It's related to the adrenal cortex. So I'm gonna pull out, you hold the legs together. He's weak. Let's check the left side. Hold, strong, and no way can I budge that. 
Now, in other muscles, the sartorius, it inserts in the same place, but it's attached right under the ASIS bone up here of the hip. Hold as I pull out, and that's showing as well. Now, we can, there's a couple other muscles we'll need to check, but those are calf muscles. But let's see, do you have any tenderness in the calf? Uh -huh. Okay. Now, tenderness in the calf, particularly for you massage therapists, that's often a sign of adrenal weakness. Let's check other signs of adrenal weakness. I'm going to just massage back here in the L, uh, say T10, 11, 11, 12 range. Is that tender at all? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's a sign of adrenal weakness. Now we also have light on the eyes. You may not be able to see this, but I'm going to shine a light. If I can pull it up here. Yes, indeed. On his eye and see what happens. And you said you're sensitive to light, right? Mm -hmm. So the pupils will constrict, but then they'll dilate. It's something Goodhart taught me that when you see that, do you, do you feel anything on your eyes? Is it mm -hmm. sensitive? Yeah. Okay. So there, you got that factor. So there's um, also, you mentioned fatigue. Do you wake up tired? Yeah. Yeah. Anyone, if you wake up tired, that's commonly low adrenal. Also waking up in the middle of the night, you got that going on, right? Okay, now let's go and I'm gonna show you the finger modes now. These are great for you that have studied with me. We use them all the time. So what I'm gonna do, there's another thing called putting something in circuit, also known as pause lock. We call it putting it in circuit. Now, when he brings the feet together, and I find something that's weak. And while I'm testing him, he separates the feet 18 inches apart. It locks it into the biocomputer. So it says, oh yeah, we've got this factor going on as long as he keeps the hips in that position. Cause it, these are um, a lot of nerve endings coming from the acetabulum going up to the brain and whatever else was happening at the same time rides along it. And as long as those hips stay, it stays in that circuit in the biocomputer. So let me go back to the adrenal reflexes. They're two inches up, one inch out from the navel. That's five centimeters for you outside the US, up and two and a half out. And hold as I push. Now separate the feet 18 inches. Now, I have a hand free now. That's why I do it. So now let's see if it's holding in the circuit. And it is. It's saying, oh, the adrenals are challenged. Now, what I can do then is I can touch here with the thumb, write this down, thumb to the index finger. If it goes strong, and it does, when I test again, it says we need to do structural work. This is the nutrition finger. Now let's see if we need to do nutrition here. It says we do. <laughs> so that could be supplementation or diet addition deletion. Then here, this is a mental emotional, hold as I push. That didn't change, so not necessarily needed. And then this is uh, energy switches, like doing uh, acupressure points. And it says, oh, yeah, we like that. So we got three things we know to put into his program. See, that's the beauty of this. Rather than, oh, all I do is uh, massage work and then rubbing everywhere, hoping it all gets better. I know exactly where I need to rub. I know exactly where I need to touch or work for a meridian clearing. And then I know if nutrition is indicated for you that it's within your scope of practice. And nutritionists love this because it eliminates the guesswork. That's the beauty of it. Rather than guessing, you know with certainty what I need to do. Now, let's see what we've got. Let's start with, I like to start with the nutrition because that's where once you fix the neural lymphatics or other muscle work, you don't have a weak muscle anymore. So now that we have a weak muscle in circuit, I can ask diet addition. No. Diet deletion. No. Supplement addition. Okay. So then I can check some things. Vitamin C is key. Okay. Vitamin C. Yes. And I know you've ordered some vitamin C. You told me. The super C. Yeah. Super C. So super C. Yeah. He's got that coming. So that's a key. That's the, the organ that needs vitamin C the most is the adrenals. So for you that are adrenally depleted and you've got the symptoms like him, you're tired, you wake up in the middle of the night, you sensitive to light. Um, also, if you stand up fast and you get lightheaded, do you ever get that way? Uh -huh. Okay. That's all adrenal. So now, you know, oh, I do things for the adrenal and the tight uh, pain in the calves, pain in the back there. So now we'll do uh, GSC. Great. I have some of that. In fact, we'll, we'll check it when we actually do the muscles as well. So you can see how the muscle actually responds. Remember, everything's a vibrational frequency. 
Okay, so we got the diet figured out. Now, acupressure points, I'll show that. Let's bring the feet back together. Now, we show this in our energy course. So for you that have done the uh, energy kinesiology the program, we tug around the navel. I push straight up. And if he goes weak, that says the fire element is over energy. He didn't. Now I go this way and it is hold earth. He's fine there. Now I go down here and pull here and it is metal. And then water, hold, he goes weak there. Wood, he's fine. So we know we have the water element is under energy. And it's a little scope outside of the structural, but it's a great little extra way to balance it. See, I wanna balance someone in all the ways their body wants. In his case, nutritional, energetically, and structurally. Okay, so let's check the muscles for, um, again, I did the gracilis in, in the, uh, let's check the gracilis again, goes weak. Now I have some GSC here, let's see. Here's the supplement and we'll just put it in his, his field. So there, there's, think of it like a cell phone, you know, or a transmitter, it's emitting a, a, a frequency and it's all frequency medicine we're dealing with here. So the frequency of this puts, goes into his receiving frequency, which is your auric field. And let's see what happens. Hold as I pull out. Oh, it's strong. Let's check this. Hold here. I can't budge it. But if I take it away outside of his frequency, hold. And there he is. So we know that's going to be helpful. Now, this is a glandular supplement that has adrenal tissue in it. There's also um, an acupressure point we said we needed. Now, because the water is over energy, for you that are particularly in the energy course, you'll remember this, where there's over energy, we need to draw that into the under energy. His under energy meridian is triple warmer, particularly on the right, because that's where the muscles are weak. So what we do is I find a spot that is the water point on the triple warmer, warmer meridian. So let's just hold here. And if it, if it needs work, a, this is a great thing to know. Any acupressure point that needs work, when you touch it, it will go weak. Hold as I push, and it does. Now, the other thing happens is you take your thumb and just touch over here, right there. Um, maybe this thumb, if you can. Mm -hmm. And then see what happens to the muscle. It says, oh, you just switched me on. I can't do it now. So that's where we now know. Oh, that's one switch. We know the neurolymphatics are a switch. Touch those neurolymphatic points that we did earlier. See, and that goes on. Anything again that's a point that needs work switches on a weak muscle or it will switch off an indicator muscle like an arm. So we now we know, know to do that. Now, before we go on though, his body also said it needed a uh, pelvic category. So let's roll over and generally adrenals are category two. So I'm gonna show you how we find that. So what we do is we get a strong indicator muscle here like a hamstring hold as I push. And now I want you to touch with your right hand on the right SI joint. So right here, just touch right there and hold as I push. And bingo, there it goes. That's a pelvic category two. So now we're gonna fix it with him on his back. But we're gonna check a few things here too. Go roll over on your back again, now that we know that. By the way, I could have had him touch it even from the front, but that's the standard way we test it. We also check a category one, but to save you the... Um, extra time on that. We won't do it right now. Now, we also can find if there's some tender spots with this because category one or two, we got a category two, which is one hand on one side S side joint. Is it tender here? Uh -huh. Good. Not that it's good, but <laughs> that's another sign. Is it tender in here? Yep. And is it tender down here? That's the origin. So that's common. They'll have tenderness there. So, and it, I know you said it was tender in here too, right? Yeah. Okay. So here's what you want to do. You want to do pre-checks on like pain, sensitivity, and fix it and see if it improves. So let's see what we got. Now, the one, the one thing when it, you have a category two and you have weak sartorius and gracilis, everyone you can stand up if you're not driving your car or something. And if you bring 
the pelvis, roll it back like this, which would be a weak sartorius gracilis, makes it uh, go what's called a posterior ilium, you'll feel your leg goes up. And let's see if he has a shorter leg. Yeah, you have a slightly shorter leg on the right side. Sometimes it's like an inch or an inch and a half I've seen it. So when you see, that's one of the first things I do when I have a person lie down on the table, I look at their leg length because that gives me clues. There's other muscles that could be out, but in this case, it's a sign of those conditions. Goodhart used to say this. He said, John, if you listen long enough, a person will tell you what's wrong with them and how to fix it. And that's when you learn all this material, you'll know, learn how to listen in a way that says, oh, I know what they need. Yes. And he already gave me signs of adrenal when I was listening to him earlier. And I go, okay. But then the head said, yep, we got triple warmer. That's adrenal. And then we went from there. So now we've got the, the correction. You're going to take these blocks. You can, Goodhart says, if you don't have the blocks, use the person's shoes. And I'm going to go this where... I'm going to put this right under the ilium, right at the top of the ilium. The other block will go in at an angle here. Okay, relax back down. It's pointing this way. This block's pointing in, this block's pointing up. Now, while that's there, is this, are these any less tender? Yeah. Are? Okay, yeah. well, that's giving me a sign that we're good in good shape. Are the legs now even? Yes, perfectly even. And I can touch the SI joint too, and that's strong. So that's telling me I've got a good place to go. Now, what we do is there's a thing called temporal tapping, where you're tapping around the ear, like so. So you're going to do that. You know, with, you, know you can do two fingers and you want you can have the thumb touch the ring finger and as you're tapping around you can move your eyes too now what goodhart told, taught us is that this programs into the nervous system to say let's stay in the same position so once we do this for about a minute we can also even work on the the muscle reflexes while we're doing this and then let's check too you mentioned about um sleep. Mm -hmm. So is it possible you can get to sleep earlier or how much sleep are you doing? I can go to sleep earlier. Yeah. What time Seven, do you go? Eight hours. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. We can even ask his body how much it needs. So I'm working these points here. Are they tender by the way, especially yeah, on the right? On the right yeah. yeah. So the greater the tenderness, the greater the extent of the blockage. Okay. So you can, you can relax your arms down now and I'll catch the points in the back. Now these again, um, the back points are at T10, 11, 11, 12. They're right above, you know, where the floating ribs are. They're just right against the spine in what's called the lamina groove. They're basically on the erector spinae or sacrospinalis. Now, in our course, we teach all these techniques. We teach all the primary muscles of the body. We get into temporal mandibular joint. We get into cranials. We get into the ileocecal valve. Um, many conditions that are great for athletes. We show how you can balance joints. I know you came up with contralateral joint. We'll see if there's one there. Do you have a joint that's tender by chance? Yeah. Which one? Shoulder? Okay. All right. We'll get into that after this. So now um, let's just work here. I can also work on the origin insertion. Are these hot at all? Top one, okay, this one up here, mm -hmm. but this one's now correcting because yeah. you said it was tender before, but because yeah. we corrected the condition. Okay, so let's take this out now. Take the blocks out. So we balance the muscles. Those are reflexes for the muscles. So let's check. Yeah, you touch that there. I'll see if that's strong. Yeah, so the category one is now cleared. Let's check the gracilis muscle. Hold as I pull out. That's strong. Bend this here. Whoa, that's strong. <laughs> and let's check the head point. Oh, we got one more thing to do. We didn't do the correction on this point here. So I'll do a little bit of acupressure. That was, remember, triple warmer two. So I'll just do a little acupressure there and then we'll check the head point. So I'm just throwing the whole thing in. Then we'll also check the supplements. 
which again, if it's not in your scope of practice, you don't need to do that, but I'm just showing you the structure itself is tremendous. Okay, so let's check the head point here. That strong, the tug on the water, that strong. And let's ask your body, uh, getting at least, getting six and a half or more hours of sleep, getting seven and a half or more, getting eight or more. Okay, so getting, say just eight, more than eight, Okay, eight would be ideal for you right now. Does that make sense? Okay. So allow um, any questions coming up, fire them away in the chat, and then we'll get those addressed in a bit. Now, what you can do then is also have um, for the contralateral joint, person can touch a, a joint and see what happens. I'll use the quadricep this time for muscle test, pushing down like this. Great. Now take that hand away and just touch with the, left hand let's touch the hip right there and see if that's strong it is now touch both simultaneously and hold bingo they go <laughs> now this is a really amazing thing goodhart figured out is that you can work on the contralateral joint and it will actually help the joint that's having a challenge so where is your pain or challenge in that shoulder like where the DMS goes. Okay, so it's right up in here? Mm -hmm. Okay. It goes to the hand. Yeah. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to have, I'm gonna have you, you can probably do it with this hand. You're gonna take your hyoid bone and mm -hmm. slide it over to the uninvolved side, to the right side, okay? And then, is this where it's tender in here? Yeah. Okay, now what I'll do is I'll work along here and see if we find any tenderness here. So I'm just touching the involved joint and then I'm going around here. So this is another thing we learn in the structural course. And then I'll come out in a minute after we're done here. Are we finding any tenderness in here? Mm. Yeah. yeah, right there, okay. So I'm just palpating that. I'm just holding this as I palpate the other one. So out of this, certification program it's coming up we'll show it on the website in a bit it's coming up in march but you can start studying all the didactic material right away and that's on our online portal and you have basically 24 classes each one goes into a few more muscles a few techniques and you can study that um, particularly starting now and we also have a bonus for you i'll tell you in a bit if you enroll now so that's going to be March 9th through the 19th with the middle day 14th off. So it's five days on, a day off, and then five more days. And what you get out of that is you're able to, again, once you get certified, which is taking our exams as well as turning in your case studies, you can get referrals from the Institute. Along with, you'll just get so many referrals from word of mouth yourself. Uh, because once people get results, like I, I was getting referrals, people coming in from other states and Danny Varela, who wasn't able to make it today, he was going to show up, but he has clients, he's fully booked, but he, he has people actually fly in from other countries and world-class athletes that he works with. And they fly him, even he worked uh, overseas at the Olympics, I think in Greece, the team flew him in for working on his team. Let's see how this is doing now. Is it feeling any better? Mm -hmm. Great. Now let's do the test again. So you always test, finds the problem. And if you're fixing the problem, it tests strong, great. Okay, so now um, how's, we didn't check your energy, but how's your energy from what work we've done so far compared to when you start on it's the table? Good. It's way up. It's way up, good. way up, okay. Yeah, so we know for you, uh, we'll get you on the supplements and just follow the directions on the bottle. Mm -hmm. And then you have your, your vitamin C that's coming. Those are two that you need to do. And then there's the sleep involved, you know, that's going to help. And then basically we also ask another session is indicated for this balance. Okay. Yes. Within one week. Yes. Within five days, within one week. Okay. So let's get together again uh, within a week, mm -hmm. you know, by, you can come back next week and we can do another session. Yeah, that's it. Okay, we got it booked. All right, super. And uh, feeling better, huh? Yeah.
Excellent. All right. Thanks, Lee. And uh, we'll look forward to seeing you next week. Great. So let's see if we have any questions. Did anything come up, Thomas? So I have a couple. Hold on. And I just also want to mention for you that sign up for the class by, I guess we'll go to Halloween, that's Monday, you're going to get an additional bonus of a, either an AK shortcuts from Dr. Sheldon Deal. We have those, there's five courses. They normally sell for, I think it's $600. You'll get it for free if you pay in full by this Monday. And one other extra bonus is for the first three people that enroll and pay in full, I'll be willing to do a 30 minute consultation with you, either on your own health, clients, or possibly uh, business coaching that I can help you with. So that'll be absolutely free for the first three of that enroll. And we're going to show you in a bit how you can enroll for that. So we have a question? Yes, we have a couple, actually. They all kind of came in at once. Uh, sure. I'm going to go in the order of most relevant, but there's some we might just want to come back to later. Okay, yeah. Um, so can you please explain how you help someone who cannot hold a strong muscle and they will not switch on? Okay, so the question is, how you help someone that, you know, like you're doing muscle testing and they can't hold a strong muscle. Well, first of all, I find to calibrate what their level of pressure, because sometimes I do very light pressure, like just a pound or so. And I, I, you don't want to overpower them. The other thing is having them drink water, because sometimes I've seen people, I've got almost every muscle's weak in your body. And when they drink a glass of water, preferably preferred, uh, purified, They'll be fine then. The other thing is I'll have them push on me to see how much pressure to push. So I say, push on my arm. Okay, a little more, a little more, a little more. Not That's you know just about enough. And then I'll push on them. First, just the, it's basically the weight of my hand and see if they can hold. And then I just go a little more, a little more. And then I'll find uh, where their level is. But they have to understand. And another thing is I can say, push against my hand. So we push each other's hands and they meet my pressures. I push a little more, a little more. So they understand how to be testable. There's other things that happen with some people is where they have, uh, they're too tight and you can't get a muscle to switch off. So that's, we show that in our courses, how to help a person be testable, which is basically saying first, it's not a strength test. It's meeting my gradual increasing pressure. And then we do things to get them to switch off. You don't have the magnet. You can say a name that you're, isn't your own. Say, my name is Donald Trump. And then they go weak. Except if you're testing Donald Trump, of course. And then my name is their own name. But you want to calibrate and get them to know if it starts to go, just let it go. But if somebody isn't holding, I would just go just the way to my hand and then do that push exercise. Hopefully that'll be helpful. And another question that's relevant or should we move on and show the uh, website? So we have we have some more, and then if if Lee needs to come up, uh, I'm going to need a sec to just swap. I think we're good. Yeah, I don't think we need you uh, okay. again, Lee. So we'll see you next Wednesday, if not before then, huh? Mm -hmm. yeah. Great. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So that's uh, fab fabulous that Lee was able to come in, and I really appreciate it, Lee. So the the great thing about this work is you have certainty. I mean, I'm not guessing. Oh, he has these symptoms. I don't know. Well, I've got these massage skills. I work on your. Goodhart would say for chiropractors, you use the pop and pray method. <laughs> and so pop and pray, rub and hope is not what I want to have in my armamentarium. I want to have lots of skills that I know exactly what to do. And, you know, and you find what the skills the person needs. Like when I checked him, it said he needed, the, you know, the pelvic categories. He needed contralateral joint. He needed muscle balancing. And I all, I probably did that. I could have done that all in 15 minutes, actually. And you can get great results really fast. In fact, when I often, I taught at Tony Robbins uh, seminars going on my 29th year and I'll have people, they'll, they'll bring someone in. See, this person's intense pain. And I got like five or 10 minutes and I'll get them back in the room. And they got another one. They're lined up and they're just like coming in and going out, getting exactly what they need to be out of pain fast. When you have these skills, you have that certainty and that ability to just make such a difference with people. 
So be aware that this is a really phenomenal way to help people and be the best practitioner that you can be. And that's what I'm here for, to help you be the best practitioner you can be. Shall we show the a website here in a moment? So while you've been talking, we have nine questions that went from one to nine. Wow. We got a lot. Okay. So there's some that are really related to what, you're do, what you've been doing with leaders. Okay, so we're going to cover a few questions now. Then I'm going to show you the website. But remember, don't go away because somebody that's online at the end is going to win a $200 basic uh, credit on any of our courses. So for you that haven't done the fundamentals, AK fundamentals, um, I know many of you have, but if you haven't done that, that's another great course, especially if you're just starting out and then you can go on into the structural class. So when you're ready to fire a question at me, I'll see what I can do to answer it. All right. So if we know how to do other manual techniques, can we ask using the more mode? Okay. So someone asked a question in terms of other if you know other things, that's a great thing about this work is you bring all the knowledge you have and you still have access to that. And you can just ask the body, whatever that other technique, like I said, muscle balancing, you went strong, pelvic categories went strong. You say, whatever your other technique is like myofascial release, we teach that or whatever your systems are. And so for you that know the more mode, that's another finger mode that's done with two fingers touching the side of the thumb. Yes, you could also use the more mode for you that know that. Now, is it wrong to muscle test with the more mode on at all times? So a little bit out of the scope of what we're doing here, but that more mode on all times? No, I don't do that. For you that know that, I just do it where it's needed. It's after, for you that have done the course, it's after a muscle is strong, then you can do it to see if it needs more. So... Um, we didn't show that on Lee, but it would have been um, something we could have done. That's a great, uh, a great thing. I only do it when I'm, I've just balanced a muscle to see if it needs more. And if it goes weak for you that have done it, then you do more. And then you can find out if it's more of the same. Well, if it goes weak with this finger on, that means do more what you just did. But if it goes weak with this, then you know more of something else. Then you go through your you know, your other techniques that would make sense. So again, we're, we're using a lot of finger modes. So those were developed by Alan Beardall, genius kinesiologist that uh, is now a way to find what exactly the body wants. See, the body shows externally what's going on internally when you know how to read it. That's the beauty of this system. It just, you, you can know how to read the body. It's like you're learning a new language. And it's a fun language to learn. Here's another benefit is that when you learn this work, you can use it on yourself. Like I rarely have pain in you know, my whole, I, I grew up often in pain, almost all the time I was in pain as a child. And the doctors didn't know what to do. In fact, one doctor did all the labs and I had really bad gastrointestinal problems, constipation, stomach aches, like a knife was sticking in my belly. And the doctor never asked anything about my diet. He did all the labs. They couldn't find anything in the labs. And he told my mother, it's in Johnny's head. There's nothing wrong with him. Well, anyway, that's another story for another day. But that's when I got into kinesiology and I totally changed my diet. And I still today, I muscle test my foods. We show that in the AK Fundamentals uh, additional courses that we have for self-testing. So you can test your diet. You can find what imbalances you have and correct them without another person even testing you. Another question, I believe we have. All right. Um, um, you've kind of already answered this, but good probably to refresh. How do you know what sort of solution, nutrition, emotional, et cetera, would work for the client? Okay, great question. How do you know which solution or approach is best for the client? When you find an area where it's weak, and I could any specific area, if someone has a back pain, I can touch the back or if they can touch it or shoulder, wherever they have a problem. And then an indicator muscle will go weak. The body's saying we have energy blockage here. Then to review, I touch the thumb to the index finger. And if they go strong, that says we have structural corrections we need. And then you can go through whatever you know, but it, you know, like muscle balancing, myofascial release, uh, ligament, we show you a whole bunch of ligament 
techniques in the course or whatever is in your, your toolbox. Next, if that um, you're touching and you got a weak muscle or you're putting it in circuit, remember we had them separate the feet. I got a weak muscle. Then I touch here. That's nutrition. That can be primarily diet addition, diet deletion, or supplement addition. There also could be supplement deletion sometimes. People, I have them bring in their supplements. We show that in the biochemical course, how you can evaluate everyone's supplements right like within a couple minutes and you know what they need. So the third one is emotional. So that would be an emotional stress. And I'll have times where people touch an area of the body, they go weak. And the only one that maybe goes strong is the emotion. I'll do an emotional stress clearing technique. We do that in our fundamentals and our psychological kinesiology. And never touch the body and they go, oh my God, my back pain's gone. My shoulder pain, my headaches, my stiff neck, gone from doing emotional corrections. And the last one being energy. I mentioned Dorothy Keister, how it showed up energy and it was work in the field. And in our energy kinesiology, we show how to work with meridians, chakras, or fields, Tibetan figure eights, profound difference when you're just working the energy fields. Now, it's sometimes a combination of those. So I do all like I did with Lee. See, when I was testing his adrenals, it said I need structural, I need nutritional, and I need energy. Uh, motion didn't have much going on, but he he's involved in our a psychological kinesiology course, and we're showing him how to clear up a lot of his emotional stressors. So I think he's done that job for good. Now, uh, do we have more questions? But I do want to get to the website within a minute or so, and then we'll show that after this question, okay? Okay. Um, yeah. And good news is a lot of them can be answered a little bit after um, or specifically about the, the online anyway. Okay, great. Um, your point about muscles not testing because of tension. Could you elaborate on that a bit, please? Muscles not testing because of tension. I'm not sure the question. So I need a little further clarification okay. on that. I, one. It was probably something you said, but they can, they can probably follow up. On I it. think, I think not testing, you can't, because the person's too tight, you can't test it. You know, like some people say, well, I, I went home and tried it on my husband and, and I couldn't find a weak muscle. He's like super strong all the time. I was actually like that right when I was learning this. And someone says, well, let's see if we can find a weak muscle on you and, and check all these things. And I was like, no way they're going to find out any weakness on me. I'm a macho man, you know? And so I was resisting and fighting and fighting them. So it's a lot of it is having them just totally relaxed, be willing to be testable, and that it's okay if the muscle lets go. And they're not like tightening their body. Totally relax your body, have a relaxed uh, wrist, also a straight elbow, because if the elbow is bent, now we're combining other muscles. Straight elbow, if you're testing the arm, and usually down lower like this at a lower angle. So when you're pushing there, you're then... Um, having them breathe too and relax their whole body. So if that's what you were talking about, they're, if they're too tense, you can't test accurate muscles. So total relaxation. And I'll also have them test me and show how when I have a weak muscle, it just totally goes. I say, yeah, for you, if it totally goes, just let it go. You want to be out long on the lever so you have more leverage. And I use my palm and just leaning in, following through. Hopefully that's uh, helpful. Okay, shall we go to the website now and we can show... For you that were wanting to enroll in our certification program, and we're limiting it to 18 people, we've already got some people enrolled. And when it's full, it's full. Now, I'll be teaching the course with Larry Brun, who's a master kinesiologist and has a celebrity clientele in Beverly Hills. So in the course, if you go to kinesiologyinstitute.com, you'll see there's a button there. If you scroll down, you see a button for structural. So you click on the structural, and then when you go to the website, there's another video you can watch where I'm demonstrating more. So you can always catch more. And so that is um, a great thing to watch, and it shows more about the course if you want to watch that. And then you'll see the hands-on certification program coming up in Long Beach. You'll earn 96 continuing education credits through National Certification Board for Therapeutic Massage and Body Workers. So if you need those, it's a great way to get them. And you also will have great skills. So we start March 9th. Generally, it's like nine to six in the evening. And then we have a day off on March 14th and we end on March 19th. So you also get the 24 additional hands-on classes 
Plus we have Q and A webinars. So you really get a ton of, of material. Just, we wanna make sure you are adept. We are committed to your mastery and excellence in this work. Now the investment is 3497 and we have a five month uh, program, a, a payment program. But again, if you pay in full now, you get, and you even at the payment program, you get access to the 24 classes. And then we start doing additional webinars in June before the class to really support you getting all the material covered by the time you hit March, you'll have covered the 24 online classes. So then we're demonstrating and workshopping supervised practicing the skills there in Long Beach. It's a great hotel. It's hotel current, uh, free parking there. And there's also a, uh, we have a discount on the room rates. So you're then eligible once you get certified to refer to receive referrals from the Kinesiology Institute. So there's that orange button there you would click on. And then once you enroll, again, you have immediate access to the 24 classes. And also if you enroll again this week, you get a free extra course, either our AK uh, fundamentals, if you haven't done that, you can also get our sports kinesiology or one of Sheldon Deal's and those are also on the site. You can look at those um, in the uh, homepage. You can see that. Now, for you that want to say you're, we have people in 92 countries that have studied with us, and some say it's just too far for me to get from uh, uh, United Arab uh, Emirates, Emirates, and um, they can do it online. And that you have lifetime access. You don't get certified. You don't get to come to Long Beach with that, but you can get the whole 24 classes and that in, in the investment then is 21 or uh, basically 2100. And so that way you, uh, we have people that are still reading and studying our classes from years and years ago, and they can keep coming back. Plus they get the additional Q and A sessions we do every now and then, like we did today. So you get to answer, get your questions answered. Okay. So and uh, there you can roll, scroll down a little more. You might see some testimonials that we have from people. Well, here's what you, you know, the program consists of. We already talked a lot about that, but you can read more about that and what you'll learn. So many things you'll learn there. So uh, TMJ is huge. Hiatal hernia, a ligament reset. I've helped people, particularly with athletes that had ligament issues. There's another technique called injury recall technique. That's demonstrated in the video above. That is the most important thing you can do with people. So make sure you watch that video that's on the top of the screen. Now you can go down a little further. I think you got some testimonials in here. Yeah, so we have, yeah, Danny Varela, I mentioned. He's, um, it says, due to the results, I'm now able to achieve using these skills. My practice has grown tremendously. He has over 250 clients and he's also getting people, like I said, flying in from other states and, and he's worked with Olympic athletes as well as world record holders and professional athletes uh, that I think he talks about in that video above. So he's, he's phenomenally successful and he just basically did a hundred hour massage course and then he did our certification program. Also your satisfac satisfaction is guaranteed. So you have a hundred percent guarantee and that explains that there, because we really want you to win and be successful in doing this work. Now, are there any other questions coming up that I can help answer? Great. So you may have answered a few of these, but let's just get right into um, kind of stuff. Just does the does the. So you get so you're able to get the the free course if you sign up this week whether you do the online or in person? No, it's the hands-on course. So you gotta be doing the hands-on course because what I'm giving you is basically a 700, five to $700 course for free. Um, so that's where, if you're coming to the hands-on. And also I'll mention if you're, oh, I need to discuss this further. There is on the website, there's a button you can click for creating a consultation with someone either me or one of my assistants, where say, I, I need to discuss this and find out if this is a fit for me. So that's a free consultation. And it's also on the homepage. If you scroll down, it'll, it'll be a button that you schedule on our scheduler. 
uh, which I do have a little time this week. So you probably get me. If not, you'll get one of my assistants. And what we'll do then is make sure if it's a fit for you or if it isn't, because we want you to win. But you can answer, get your questions answered and clarify anything you're needing clarification on. Okay. So next question. All right. Um, someone asks, what if we already purchased the structural course recently? Yes. If you've purchased the structural course recently and you want to upgrade, it's a 1997 for the entire 10 days and certifica certification. And sometimes if you just get one referral from us, that alone will pay for that as well as the other. I mean, I, mean, I have clients that I had for years that have become ongoing clients that uh, way pay for me. In fact, I'll, I'll mention this. When I first started out in practice, I had a financial advisor was one of my clients. And I said, Bob, tell me, what's the best place to put my money right now? And he said, John, the best investment is in your education. In fact, I was just listening to a video of Warren Buffett, the greatest investor of all time. And he said the same thing. It was like the best place to put your money is in yourself. <laughs> so I said, well, if Warren Buffett suggests it, because when you invest in your education, for one, it's tax deductible. So if you're in the 20% bracket, take 20% off instead of giving it to Joe Biden or you know, the government, you are giving it to yourself. And then you're also able to earn more money, which they'll get their money back because you're going to in increase your income exponentially. And we've had one of our students opened, after she completed our certification, she opened an office, actually two offices, and uh, right away and got full. And we've had many people like that. Another woman that did the course has uh, practices in two different cities. In fact, I had practice in uh, many places. One was um, Monterey. I had monthly clients. I went up to Monterey. Great place to have clients throughout California. And then when I was in Ohio, I also had clients in Florida. So I would go and do practice down in the cold months in Miami. So it gives you an opportunity to really help profoundly people because that's what it's all about is making a difference in people's lives, but also having the confidence, the, the knowledge that you know what to do when. That's what this is about. Another question? All right. So could you explain briefly how we can test ourselves? Okay, great question. Self-testing. There's three primary ways I do it. One way, if you can stand up, you can do along with me, is the sway test. And I did this, I was over at Trader Joe's and Whole Foods the other day, and I'll hold a food and I'll tune into the frequency of the food. And if it's good for me, I lean forward. If it's bad for me, I lean back. So here's how you do it right now. Just think of a really happy thought with your you know, weight balanced on your heels and toes. Think of a happy thought, really like somebody you love and feel grateful for and see if you lean forward or back. Most people lean forward. Okay, now think of a frustrating thought like, oh God, I got to pay my taxes or <laughs> I got to do this and see if you lean back. Now we'll go back to happy thought. I like to end on happy. Okay, two weeks, all paid vacation to an exotic location. <sighs> okay, we'll stick with that. Now, another way is I use my ring, I mean, my middle finger with my index finger pushing on it. So I get the, it's a longer lever than the first finger. I find that works better. You can do it the other way too. But with the index finger pushing down right here on the end of this middle joint, and I say, body, give me a yes, and I push. Body, give me a no, and I push, and it goes weak. Now, the more you practice these, the better you get. But those are the, I'll just stick with those main two right now. Uh, there's more we teach in the programs that you'll uh, see if, you, if you're an a, uh, AK fundamental student, you'll then be able to look at that and see that um, in the AK fundamentals course, there's four classes of how to do self-testing and self-evaluation that are really valuable on their own. It's like a whole extra course that gives you tremendous skills. We have another question, Thomas. All right. So currently there's two more, um, but they're a, a little bit specific, but I'll get into them. So I have pain and tension in front of the right hip joint and flexor, as well as the right lower back. I also have tension in the back of the neck. Other symptoms and tender points all over my body. Is there any tips on how to know the root of my problem? 
Okay, so there's pain in various areas. And ideally, you want to have a practitioner or learn the skills yourself to know exactly. Goodhart used to say this, anything can cause anything. And that's what kinesiology can tell you what the thing it's causing is. And he also said anything can fix anything. But we want to think holistically. Now, a lot of your symptoms are related to adrenal stress because the two most ligamentous areas in the body are the neck and the low back. So commonly when you have adrenal issues, in fact, I had the other day, I was been pushing myself and pushing myself, you know, where you're like, I need the lifestyle changes. And uh, I found out I was at a stage three adrenal and my low back was giving well, I was having neck stress. So that's commonly it. So keys for that are basically get more sleep, eat whole foods, eat particularly organic produce and stay away from processed foods and sugar as well as alcohol and meditate. I, I as a, a faculty member of Tony Robbins Life Mastery University, I got to see Dean Ornish and he's one of the presenters as well. And he said, meditation turns on 500 genes that you need for health and in, in your expression. So if you do prayer, meditation, that itself can heal anything. That's a whole nother topic, but that, uh, those are a few tips for you. But in terms of what's causing it, um, I would say just start doing those things and see if that improves. There's a lot, one technique we show about the emotional stress release where you touch your foreheads lightly and forehead, uh, forehead points lightly and then breathe slowly and deeply. You can do that right now as, as I'm showing. You can close the eyes and just relax your whole body. And while you're touching those points, if there's any challenges you're going through, just see them outside of yourself as you're relaxing, just floating by like they're floating on a stream, leaves just floating down the, the stream. And by focusing on what, from a relaxed state, focusing on what your upsets are, that transforms it. And there's physiology, I can explain another time about that, that why it works. Uh, I know it was Wayne Dyer used to say, it's witnessing. If you can see something, but witness it rather than live it in your own body and just see it out, Whatever you can feel and express, you can heal. Because a lot of times it's the emotional factors. So, you know, just ask your gut, like, what is it I need to know to help my body? And sometimes your gut will just say, eat right or let go of resentment. That's another biggie. You know, people that hold on to resentment, that's like drinking poison yourself, hoping they'll die. <laughs> that's a major factor for a lot of people. Because I've certainly got a whole lot of people I could be resentful for. And I just let it go. Three words to write down, let it go. When you let things go, let them out of your being, they stop plaguing you. So release for your own good, let it go. Even though they did stuff that's, certainly not acceptable. Don't hold on to it. So those are a few tips. Do we have one more? Uh, two more at the moment. Okay. But this, I'll try and make this one a little simpler. Um, I'm having some pain that I'm having trouble getting to go away. Um, I had actually a practitioner do some energy balancing on me, but I still have pain in both my ankles and knees. Okay. Ankles and knees. Okay. Well, let me tune into you. I think, see, I'll mention something for myself. And then remember, we got to do that drawing. So don't go away because we're going to give somebody $200 credit. <laughs> now, um, it could be diet. Um, and again, there's so many factors. So it's hard to say with just listening to it. But I had one time where I had tremendous shoulder pain, like a frozen shoulder. Oh, I could hardly move it. And I also had knee pain when I'd walk up the stairs, it'd feel like a, a knife stabbing me on each step. I went on an alkalized cleanse. If you check out Dr. Robert Young, PhD, the pH miracle. He has a lot of pH books like pH miracle for weight loss, pH miracle for diabetes. And I followed one of his cleanses for three days and I was only eating uh, alkalizing soups and doing detox products that he has. And within the second day, my knee pain was totally gone. And the third day, my shoulder just loosened up. I wasn't doing anything else but changing my diet. 
So sometimes joint pains, and there's another factor, omega-3s, um, omega-3 fatty acids, those are anti-inflammatory. See, pain is inflammation. Now, another thing, I had a client had knee pain and they, he had knee surgery, like uh, orthoscopic surgery. It didn't really help. He was a dance instructor. And he says, John, it, it, they want me to get a knee replacement and I'll lose my, my studio because I'll be out for so long, all my students will go away. So he ended up getting a um, session with me and I found out it was diet deletion and it was deleting wheat because gluten is, is often highly toxic as well as orange juice, because he drank a quart of orange juice a day and he had wheat pretty much in every meal. Well, when he got off that, plus I balanced his muscles, his knee pain totally went away. And I saw him for many years afterwards. He never needed the knee surgery and he was able to keep his career at his dance studio. So sometimes food is a major factor. So that's why, again, we come back to the triad of health. You don't just think structural. You don't just think nutrition. You don't just think uh, psychological or just energy. That's when you want to have the full toolbox that whatever that person needs is what will do the job. So that's, that's the summary for you. So why don't we find who's going to win our $200 certificate? How many people do we have on the board there, Thomas, right now that I can find? All right. In Zoom, we have 23. Okay. So Zoom people. Okay, so I'm going to, and you can see the numbers. We count them down, right? It's going to take me a second, but yes. Okay, yeah. Well, we're going to check. Now I'm going to do the test here. So my finger will go weak when it's in the range or the exact number. So let's say 1 to 10, 10 to 15, okay? Uh, 6, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 14. So who is number 14? And you are the lucky winner of the $200 credit towards any course in our programs. And? That's uh, Luca Salina. Luca Salina. All right, Luca. Now what you wanna do is email to kinesiology, well, support at kinesiology institute. The word support at kinesiologyinstitute.com. And also if any of you have any other further questions, you can, email that address with other questions that you have about the course, as well as if you want to schedule one of those sessions, we only have limited time here. I think we got time tomorrow, Friday, and Saturday. I don't think we're open Sunday for those sessions and then Monday. But again, if, if you want to schedule a 20 minute, no obligation session to get all your questions answered, me or one of my assistants can help you to get that done. So it's been a thrill having you with me. I'll stick around uh, afterwards if you have more questions, but we'll end the recording momentarily. And I want to just, again, thank you for your commitment to being the best that you can be. And that's what we're here for, is to help you be the best practitioner you can be. I myself study several hours every day. And I found out that Goodhart, even up until just a couple months before he died at almost 90 years old, he studied two hours every day. The, the amazing genius, one of the most beneficial practitioners to our, our systems of health, natural healing. And so I'm, I'm loving it to just keep growing and growing. There's always more coming about. And I take the best of what I've learned to give to you, to save you all the time, as I've been doing this for 40 years now. So I'm giving you the, the best of the best from 40 years of practice in a lot less time and a lot less money because I've spent over $200,000 on my education. So you get the, the golden nuggets that you can put right into your life, into your practice, and also helping your family and friends. So thank you so much for joining me. And I look forward to the opportunity of working with you further. And until then, be well and God bless. All right, and I pause the recording. There's one more question if you'd like to answer. Sure, I'm sticking around. So we just wanted to have the recording for those that were, because we have a lot of people who are going to watch this on replay. So thanks for sticking around. And do we have people in Facebook? Yeah, we have people on Facebook and YouTube. Great. Um, About how many do we have? I think we had, we have currently 10 on YouTube, nine on Facebook, and then we still have, you know, 21 in Zoom. 
Okay. And how long can you stick around, Thomas? So I don't make him mad at me. You're all good. I can stay until you have your next your next webinar. So not a big rush. Oh, I don't have another webinar now. Is that you, you said it one. There is not not for them, but something you need to be on. Oh, yeah, we're good. Okay. So I just got the logistics out of the way, but thanks for for hanging out. Let's do more questions. I love I love answering questions. So what do you got? Well, one more from Larry Bryant. So will I need to be a licensed massage therapist or chiropractor before I can do AK professionally? Where do you live, Larry? Give him a second to answer. And I'll, I'll just answer some of that right now. Um, it, it depends on the state or the country, I suppose. But a lot of people, like I know in California, I had a woman who was a structural engineer. And at 40 years old, she had been to many, many practitioners, non-AK practitioners, AK applied kinesiology, and nobody was helping her. So she went to Dr. Bob in Costa Mesa. I don't know if any of you know Dr. Bob. In one session, she got totally fixed. And she said, wow, this is what I want to do. So she, with no massage background or anything, just came in and did my program. And then after getting certified, developed a very successful practice and left her very well, good paying job as a structural engineer. And she says, now I'm really helping people so much. And that's the true joy in life is finding a way to serve and doing that. And so she, uh, she doesn't have any uh, other license or whatever. Now in the state of California, there's a thing called the uh, Health Freedom Act. And basically you don't want to be saying that you're doing therapy and you certainly, if you don't have a license to diagnose or treat medical conditions, you're not doing that as well. So I, I make sure that people are aware, you know, if you're, if you're not a therapist, I'm not doing therapy, I'm doing energy and structural balancing. Uh, we have a lot of uh, personal trainers that work with us, physical therapists, and you use it within the scope of your practice. Now, the other thing to note as far as nutrition is I'm not suggesting anyone do anything. I'm letting their body tell them. So I'm not even saying don't eat this food or eat this food. I'm saying, oh, here, your body tests strong on that. And that way you're not even, so you're certainly not prescribing anything or you're not even recommending anything. You're saying, here's what your body recommends. <laughs> so, and there are disclaimers we have legal disclaimers that the lawyers put together if you wanted to have people sign it. But you're basically doing very non, uh, non-invasive work. You know, it's just stuff that is letting the body heal itself. In fact, the original name, I was Dr. Thee's uh, program director in his Touch for Health Foundation in Pasadena. And he originally called his program. See, he was, he was, this is a great story. Um, John Thee was at a chiropractic uh, seminar and this little guy, five, six, five, five goes up to him and John Thee is six, five. And he looks up and he says, are you going to see the next speaker, sir? And he says, yes, I've heard a lot of great things about Dr. Goodhart and his breakthrough work. And this is back in the 60s, around 65. And Goodhart looks up at him and says, well, I am Dr. Goodhart and you have what I want to demonstrate. Oh, really? <laughs> so he uh, says, when I call for volunteers, you come up. So John Thie goes up and he says, now I want to show you have, a, I can see from your posture, and we teach you how in the structural course to read someone's posture and know exactly what muscles are out. He says, I, I can see you have weak neck muscles. So I want you to hold your neck up. He's lying on a, a banquet table. And so he says, bring your head up. And he says, okay, hold as I push. And bam, he goes slamming his head back into the table. Like, Ow. And, and he says, see, that's inhibited neck flexors. And he says, wait a minute, Dr. Goodhart, I wasn't ready. He says, okay, are you ready now? He says, yes, I'm ready. And then bam, <laughs> and again. So he, then he goes into rubbing his neural lymphatics. You can try these on yourself right now. They're often tender. Out about two inches from the sternum under the collarbone, and he's rubbing those, and Dr. Thea is going, whoa, what's that tender? So after he does that, he says, bring the head up again. And he was amazingly strong. And Thea was so blown away, he then be, he followed Goodhart around the country like a puppy dog, and he was the one that would um, 
put his slides on for all his, his shows. And he said, this is great. He said, Dr. Goodhart, you ought to write a book for lay people. And Goodhart said, John, if you want a book for lay people, you write it. So John Thesis, oh, okay. Well, he first called it, he didn't want to call it AK Applied Kinesiology. It's for lay people. So he called it Health from Within. And my chiropractor, some of you might know him, Dr. Ed Wagner, uh, was at that very first course in Malibu at Pepperdine. And it was on November 18th, 1972. <laughs> Great day to remember, because that was a major birth of a whole movement. Now, one of John told me, Dr. Thee, that one of his patients said, well, health from within, yeah, but you know what you're doing, John, is you're touching for health. Oh, touch for health. Hmm. So, so let's try that. So he came out in 1973 with the very first Touch for Health book, was re revised in 79. And then uh, the la latest copy is from originally 2005, and it has updates as well. But the Touch for Health system got it out to the grassroots, people in all walks of life and professions. And then it branched off into psychological uh, kinesiology or energy psychology. And it got into uh, more of, uh, there's so many branches. Like, so John Thee wrote what's called the Touch for Health Synthesis. And that was all these different branches. And I got a branch too for my work with sports because I, I do sports kinesiology. I've taught that in Germany. I presented at the Italian Olympic Committee that blew them away, presented even over in Russia. And um, that psychological, or that's, sports kinesiology. We're going to be bringing more and more of that to you as well. We have our, our second uh, sports kinesiology almost finished, and then we're going to do courses, particularly for um, athletic trainers. So uh, that basically uh, was a long answer to just kind of give you some of the history of how uh, this has expanded. And it, it's so great for any profession. We have a lot of nutritionists that love this because it eliminates the guesswork there. See, there's a thing called bio-individuality. Bio-individuality means your, a food could be your medicine and it could be another person's poison. Like I even was finding I wasn't good on certain things I thought were great, like garlic and onions and uh, Brussels sprouts, some of the cruciferous vegetables. And I, I did a fast where I was uh, like doing all these cruciferous vegetables and I had intense pain. <laughs> I go, whoa. So I started muscle testing to find out, oh yeah, uh, that doesn't work for me, but boy, does this. And when you eat the foods that are ideal for you, I've actually lost 20 pounds from just, I'm just gonna be disciplined and eat foods that I muscle test strong on and be aware that there's not a, this food is good for everybody and this food's bad for everybody. So, and we also show how to clear allergies in our biochemical class. Any other questions coming up? We have a few more. Um, and also Larry said he's from Mississippi. Oh, great. Mississippi. I'm not sure the laws there, but basically, again, if you're doing work where you're making the, the client clear, you're a, um, say, a structural kinesiologist where you're not treating or diagnosing any conditions and it's very non-invasive. And if you want, we have forms you can have the, the person sign too, but because it's so non-invasive, people don't get damaged. And if there's things that their doctors say, oh, don't do this or don't do that, you know, always check with their doctors. You know, I have several doctors myself, functional medical doctors and friends that are doctors and family members that are doctors, medical doctors. And um, so I'm all about making sure all the labs are done, everything, and you know, I get my blood work regularly. I'm Actually, tomorrow I'm going in uh, to send work, uh, lab work into Viome, V-I-O-M-E. It's a great program that uh, gives you all these little extra things. The more you have more information you can find, the better. But I think you're fine, Larry, with uh, staying with us. But if you, you want, you know, again, set up a, uh, one of those free, um, we call them discovery sessions that you can click on the, the website there. Just scroll down and you'll see a button that says, you got more questions? Click here and you can set up an appointment. Next question. All right. Um, I think you kind of already covered this. Someone was just, you know, also brought up, I'm in New Hampshire, certified myotherapist, and do you require a license in this state? 
or simply the certification. I, I, we kind of yeah, you would this, you would use that in your your scope of practice. You're saying about being in New Hampshire, um, and we have another uh, one of our instructors who's in Vermont, just next door to you, and it's. Um, you know, a lot of it is just adding it to whatever you're currently doing. And that's the beauty. You, you know, when I was a body worker, I, I did primarily rolfing, similar to rolfing, myofascial release. And then I studied with Goodhart. And then it was, I just expanded my practice to include all these, but I still do times of myofascial release. You don't have to throw away anything you're doing. That's another beauty of this system. Because a lot of things I would study, they'd say, okay, forget everything and just do this work. And then I'd start doing that. And well, that's not I mean, there's a tool from that I might use, but I, doing that is uh, ex limiting, you know, and there's the, the, the system and that, but you've got everything that you can draw from. In fact, that's what kinesiology was. See, Goodhart first figured out that when a muscle was weak, he rubbed the origin insertion, we talk about this in the course, of the anterior serratus on a guy, Ronald Fultz, and he found that he immediately strengthened the weak muscle and the guy's shoulder improved. So he thought, oh, I just need to rub origin insertions of any muscle that's weak. Well, that didn't always work. And then he found, well, there's this other body work, Chapman's reflexes called neurolymphatic points, and that helped. And then later he found Bennett's work, that light touch points I alluded to on the head. That, that helped too. And then he found, oh, acupressure, that relates too. And I can do acupressure holding points. And then he found, oh, like Rolfing, there's times where that's appropriate. And just more and more and more techniques, both ones he discovered, but also other people's. And it's more of a container. AK is a container of all these techniques, plus your own, that you know what to do when. That's the key. It eliminates the guesswork and know what to do when. There's nothing more valuable than that, you know, to have those those phenomenal, powerful skills and know when to do them. So there you go. So any other questions? One more. Um, we have another structural hands-on certification in the fall for those who can't make the spring. Ah, so great question. Well, we have another one in the fall. Uh, it's certainly possible. I can't guarantee it right now. My schedule is getting very busy. They're wanting me all over Europe and Asia. I'm my courses are being translated into Chinese and they wanted me to come to China. Um, I'm not sure, but Larry is um, probably going to be. I don't know that I would be at that, but very possibly Larry is. And we're also looking at potentially doing one in Florida. We have a lot of demand in Florida and in the East Coast where um, what you want to do is email me uh, with your name and anyone, it doesn't have to be just the person asking the question, say, you know, I. If you can't make the spring in Long Beach and you want another, say, place and time, let us know where you're at. And we also have a lot of interest in Chicago. And, you know, we have other instructors that will be teaching as well if I can't make it. So those are possible. Okay. Anything else before we call it a day? Yeah. And I think they were just curious about, you know, when you were thinking about doing the one in Florida, but I know that was. I yeah. Was well, again, if you're interested in Florida, send us and we poll people because we have already a whole list of people that have been asking for a long time. In fact, we were all set to do one before COVID came along and then boom, that put a monkey wrench in things. So it's like things are opening up and uh, boy, we, our heart goes out to the people in Florida. My brother has a place in Naples and I have other people, lots of friends in Florida. I also, I present at uh, West Palm Beach at the Tony Robbins program, which is going to be in August, I believe this year. So um, there is possibilities. So just email us with your name and where you're at anywhere in the country or the world. Um, Cause I'm looking to present over in the UK. I'd love to get back to Australia. Love it down under. And uh, we'll see when we can hook up and where we can hook up. So again, thank you so much. And thank you for making the kinesiology Institute your best choice in health and what education. And I wish you well and God bless.